हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय गेमिंग चैनल न्यू आर्पो सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू ऑन आवर गेम प्ले वॉक थ्रू ऑफ शार्लो होम्स चैप्टर वन we are hunting the goliath now the elephant we have to go to the elephant so we have to investigate the board workshop and the archaeological dig site let's skip the board workshop our first target uh let's fast travel over here Let's see what we have left here. Just be quick. I don't see anything of use here. Wait. It might fall an elephant. Okay, we got all evidence is collected, okay. We got something for from here. So this place is done, I guess. and now here archaeological digging site okay let's head for the archaeological digging site So these are like stuffs we need to catch an elephant i guess Oh my god this place has not loaded yet Okay Stop shirking get dressed properly and come inside I need that uniform to get inside Which one I was wearing I don't remember Maybe the merchant one Workers apron yeah Stop loitering and get inside Let's see what we have around here swift
This fabric will work. Mrs. Nini seemed to know her sewing inside out. Oh, I bet she missed us. I hope Miss Nini won't misunderstand me. Mr. Nini, okay? Was at the intersection of Knights Road and Trinity Way in Caladio. Knights Road and Trinity Way. Who is this Miss Nini? Caladio. Oh, I think Miss Nini is the one to where we got the disguise. Let's fast travel to the police station. He's even putting up posters. What are they talking about? He's even putting up posters. Learn the circumstances behind the missing item posters. Brother been in London selling antiquities, music teacher robbed last year to earn his bread. Okay. One thing I got music teacher. He's even putting up Nope. Nope. Music teacher. Nope. Central Scaladio to earn his violin stolen recently. A local music teacher has been putting up posters in Central Scaladio around St. Clement's Cathedral, appearing for information. About his stolen violin. New case. Let's get back to my Sherlock outfit. I've come to you with a special requirement. The tailors on the street can't help me, I'm afraid. Could you make a doll? Oh, Signor Holmes. You taught the police how to do their job, and they found the thief. Of course I will help you. But what sort of doll? A child's doll, such as my great niece might play with? Um, a little larger than your typical doll. Signore, I don't understand. Boy, girl, animal, and what color? Animal, um, a passionate, perhaps, amorous animal. Ah, oh, signore, you talk in readers. I am an old lady who's seen it all. Tell me what you need. I need a life-size elephant. I think Mrs. Nini outdid herself with this one. Is that a tail? That's a trunk, John, but I must agree with you that it's a masterpiece. Well, let's not waste any time. Okay. Now what? Can you satisfy my curiosity? A solid question, sir, but I don't have the answer. Okay, now I need to get here. No, this is different. I have taken the fragment 
fabric it can be filled with gas of acquired the frog horn it sounds just like a mating mammal uh, the perfume from theodore's uh, office can help i have extracted the pheromones which i have uh, I which can be used to attract the elephant. Now I have all I need. I should visit Miss Nini at the intersection of Nice Road and Trinity when Scarlet. I am hoping she can make a doll. With a with the magnificent elephant doll now in my position, I should use the coal gas shed in Gildan's ear to infiltrate, infil infiltrate the lure. Imogen does not want to believe Paul can do something like that. Imogen was shocked to see how far his father's threats went. Arthur was surprised to see Theodore this aggressive and indiscreet. Okay, this is a different case. Um, so, okay, I have to go back to Golden's yard. It's as if a storm went through here. The game is on. So, what's the plan? I hope it all doesn't go horribly wrong. We know that the elephant is seeking a female. We can arrange that. A doll with the appropriate scent might do miracles. So you're a marriage broker? Well, I suppose that makes me a groomsman. Oh, she is a bit breezy, I must say. Well, Goliath is eager for a single female elephant in his area. It should be just enough for his taste. You'll need to trust me. Okay. Are we ready? I can't stand the tension. We're ready. Let's call the elephant. Tempting trumpet. How could anyone resist? Teasing trumpet. I knew a lady once who said just that. Submissive trumpet. Too bad I'm not an elephant. <laughs> Salacious trumpet. Take your time, Sherry. Impatient trumpet. That deserves a slap and then a kiss. And here's our lovesick friend. Is the meaning of this? Why are you bringing it here? I won't allow you to leave it. I assure you that it is only a temporary measure. It won't be long until the elephant is gone, I promise you. Goliath found. Injured itself while running through the forest. Okay. Peaceful and compliant, almost a gentleman. 
The left tusk is larger and more worn. You're a left tusk elephant. There's something in the needle. A feathered fletching. This might be promising. Okay. We are done investigating the elephant. Dart found I found dart logged in Goliath side. There's a faint trace of an unknown substance in it. Chemical analysis. Um three and minus three of this. I don't have minus three of this. Okay, three minus five. And let's do this and two. Um, okay, we need a chemical operations for this. Three minus three, yes. Success. There were traces of strychnine inside it. This amount could kill a human, but was not enough to topple such a large animal. Instead, it most likely aggravated the elephant, causing a fit of rage and burst of strength. And now we have to use the mount place. Battle battering poison dart. Poison dart loaded with strychnine was embedded in the elephant's skin. Goliath may have been provoked. The dark sh dart shot at Goliath may have provoked the beast in violent rage. The elephant Goliath may have attacked Theodore in order to break free. Both and Arthur and Paul own darts, poison dart. Arthur or Paul may have shot Goliath. Both Arthur Swift and Paul Parks have a means to shoot the elephant with a dart. Third party used Goliath. An unknown third party deliberately shot a poison dart at Goliath to provoke the attacking Theodore Gilden. An unknown third party tried to protect Theodore Gilden by shooting a poison dart at the elephant. Uh, this would say Arthur killed him. This would say Paul killed him. In the pit of rage, Goliath killed him. After a quick one, one-sided conversation, the elephant fled. Well, nature of the beast makes him extreme. I should inform him again. execution save Goliath. Okay, I need to look at my case.
this is something we need to understand like did any of them kill right means used to light I feel uh, Goliath did on his own. If Goliath did it on his own, I will not execute Goliath. I need to make a save. I don't know, I'm having difficulty in deciding. Was the elephant shot before or after Theodore and does it matter? Okay, and this is about asking means i need to talk to someone about this want to talk about the elephant in the yard I have to leave you for Hmm
I guess I'm not sure. But I don't want to blame someone unnecessarily. What I will do is I think Goliath killed him himself, no one provoked him and let's save him captors uh, the one responsible for this behavior the elephant requires a new uh, new owner and home i should discuss with him again any possible options to save and relocate the elephant it's an elephant so like i can't get an elephant kill get to when die because of killing a man it's not his fault right why does this so this comes up all of a sudden you were right about goliath everyone confirmed your opinion they all agree that the beast is vicious the animal wielded two tons of rage and Mr. Gildan regrettably didn't stand a chance. The mating season only served to amplify its temper. Oh, spare me. That's a little too much detail, thank you. What is the point of this conclusion? How do you plan to use your findings? Send Goliath to execution, get Goliath off the hook. Miss Gildan, I know how much you dislike the elephant. Rather more than dislike. I wish I could have done more to that wretch than just speak of it. But it's innocent. Goliath did not intend to kill your father. It was provoked, scared, and in mating season. Your father took Goliath's normal state for granted, and in doing so made a mistake that caused the elephant to be aggressive. Stop it! I already know the answer. I don't need your moral perspective on this situation. I don't know why you wasted your time. I actually did more than you. Which involved what, Miss Gildan? A man with a big wallet made an offer to take the elephant away. I accepted it. I was so naive thinking that it was me who was so helpless, but you are useless too. I am glad that the elephant is no longer of your concern, but I need to make sure. I don't care and I don't want to listen. Thought you wouldn't turn up. Why is that? Well, I suppose it's the English way to leave without saying goodbye, but I never planned to abandon you. Because you brought the filthy beast here. Because you did nothing to ensure its proper punishment. I had to do everything, not you. I was piecing together your father's murder. There was nothing to piece together. I told you, it was Goliath. I never asked you to talk with anyone. I asked you to find stupid animal. Even if my efforts are invisible, that does not mean that I did nothing. I don't have the strength to argue. These are my father's belongings. They're about your mother. Take them all and leave me be. I won't waste your time any longer, Miss Gildan. Thank you for your help. John's diary. It sounds absurd, but we caught a murderer and then released him. It was Goliath, and I'll admit I'm happy that the animal is free. 
item belongs to my family. All I managed to get from our neighbor was a few objects Theodore had stored that are supposedly connected to my family. Miss Gilden left them on a bench near the entrance of her manor. Letter from Violet to Theodore Gilden. My dear Theodore, you know I value our friendship more than most other bonds. We share the same restless soul and your acceptance and support in trying times had been a blessing. I am endlessly grateful for the turn of fate that saw Sigur and I join the same expedition as you. It changed my life for the better. Nevertheless, I am not blind nor a hypocrite. I know that your feeling towards me have deepened. Forgive me, Theodore. But I do not feel as you do. I must spare you the pain of one-sided love before it's too late. Please see enclose the necklace that you you so thoughtfully gifted in remembrance of our adventure together. I cannot in God conscience continue to wear it. I know this letter will cause you such hurt. And for that I can but apologize deeply yet my heart is with Sigur who is still unaware with your, of your desires. If this is the end of our friendship I will understand but I truly hope we can continue to share our conversations, collaborations and kindness that have brought me such joy in these years. You are respectfully Violet. V my mother always wore this around her neck until one day it disappeared. I was wondering where it went. She said it was a birthday present from a good friend. I just had another glimpse of a memory, John. It's fuzzy, but I'm sure it happens somewhere in the manor. Finally moving forward. Shall we go? Um, since we're near the manor... Why not? But I am thinking I should get back to this case. Here. The one regarding the grave. Letter from Violet to Theodore Gilden. Casebook. A mother's love. Okay. Mm, string theory. What was did in the shadows? Evidence points to the posi uh, possible. Okay. Mm. It puts me back here. Let's fast travel here. I actually fast traveled to a bit of a wrong side, but okay. Okay, it's time to draw the conclusion, I guess.
Okay, I need to look at this case now. Two men were found dead near an open grave. Both victims had bite marks. Swarbelin, which is used for embalming corp corpse. Hmm. A shovel with bent blade. A few drops of blood nearby. A set of surgical instruments. One is missing. Okay, so oh, the head. The thing is, who hit him? I'm coming back after some time, so it's getting difficult. Okay, who is the one who wearing hat? Room. A dirty hat near the bloodstained stone. A pool of blood nearby. 
an expensive hat with a few grey hairs and a piece of torn fabric on route. Okay, there's something here too. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. If the reporter did it. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Yeah, it's getting difficult and it's spread out, no. There is the basket of flowers here. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Let's exit it and see it for ourselves. Since we came back after a long time, that's why I forgot what was where. Mmm, nicely roasted. Psilocybin mushrooms. These are powerful hallucinogens. I wonder how even the most destitute always somehow manage to scrape together enough for a drink. So someone was drunk over here. expensive hat with a few grey hairs stuck to the brim. So the one with the expensive hair fell here. Hat fell here. 
Someone tore their trousers here. This is a somewhat neglected and dusty hat. Hmm, we're dealing with a very immoderate bloodsucker here. Flowers are still fresh. Let's try this again. That's the background. Someone came in here with flowers. This is the expensive hat, that means this is the professor. So if uh, this is the guy with the flower there is a possibility he might have This is the guy with the expensive hat. But this is not the expensive hat, this is the grave digger.
they were doing something here he was digging up the grave and he was using formaldehyde so he came in here the tanner saw these two guys sorry got the set of knives attacked him Let's see. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. I think this is right that he was digging and the professor was using formal dehyde. They were doing something on his sister's grave. He came to visit his sister's grave. And attacked the professor. Where was the reporter then? He has um So in the comments, I was not joking, he raised a woman from a grave and then ordered her to attack two men who were close by.
So this is the reporter. He was, I think, he was constructing a scene. Maybe I don't know. The brother of the deceased became furious when he caught the anatomist exhuming his sister's body. He killed him with a shovel. The graveyard keeper took to his heels, but didn't get far. He fell, hitting his head on a stone, which rendered him unconscious. With the murderer gone, the reporter who was hiding punctured the neck of the first victim to imitate a bite. But when he did the same to the second victim, he killed an unconscious man. So we have two murders and two murderers, but no vampires. Vampires are not so scary when you have grave robbers and journalists running around. Okay. Don't tell Stark what I said, or he think I'm a coward. Time to get back to the police station. Constable Stark, do you believe in vampires? Hey, What do vampires have to do with anything? Oh, that's exactly what I thought while looking into the murders at the cemetery. The primary suspect is indeed the murderer, but he's not the only one. The reporter, who so easily fooled everyone with his vampire stories, killed the other victim. But why would he do that? He believed the unconscious man to be dead, and decided to concoct a thrilling story for his readers. Oh, thank you, Mr. Holmes. I'll have the conniving little scrub taken in immediately. There's only one case left. Don't let me stop you. Case complete. The scapegoat. New location, forest ruins. I'll go there, but... I'll not do this. I'll just go there and then I'll start it from the next video. What's up? So, casebook, the scapegoat. I'll read this later. The victim requested has requested specifically to identify. Okay, the location is uh, four persons are arrested for theft, property damage, and debauchery. The four comprised of three women dressed in robes and animal masks and a priest. The suspects had started stealing and slaughtered a goat in the forest ruins to the west of the cemetery. For this cruel act, they will be prosecuted accordingly. However, the victims had. They are requested to specifically identify who stole the goat. The testimony of all parties involved are attached to the case. So this is like uh, forest ruins to the west of the cemetery. This is the forest ruin, yes. Is this where we go went after the elephant? 
I don't exactly remember, but it might be, it might not be. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. Okay, I would like to stop here. I will continue from here in the next video. Bye-bye.